me Lauren and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than my original content. I am going to be talking about self-esteem and about so-called diets. So I know what it's like to look into a mirror and not completely like what you see, you know. But today today my message is not to be so not to be so hard on yourself. And I know it's not easy. It can be quite hard, but at the same time, you know, give yourself a little bit of leeway. <laughs> you know, but don't be a prisoner inside your own thoughts. Like, I know it's hard when it's constantly flashed in your face. It's on TV. It's on the internet. It's everywhere. And you don't need that inside your thoughts. Inside, you know. And, like, people look at magazines and they compare them, and they, they compare themselves to the people that are stick thin in the magazines. It's photoshopped. It's all photoshopped. And that's the thing that really gets me and annoys me. They wouldn't use someone who's my weight, who has a normal, healthy weight. If I was going to go for a model industry to, for, to model, I'd either be told that I'm too short, or I'd, I'd need to lose weight. And it's... It's not fair. Because it puts so much pressure on people. And then they feel like they're inadequate if they don't look that way, if they don't fit societies. Um, the way society see people and everything... And, it's not fair. Like, now in the day and age, there was pressure when I was growing up to look a certain way, to act a certain way, but it's, it wasn't as bad as it is now. So thank God <laughs> I'm not a young person growing up now that I'm actually 22 years of age. But, like, the thing of eating disorders has gone up in this day and age. Like, there was people who had eating disorder when I grew up. Not that many. There is a good few now. And everything, and I feel like it's just gonna get worse and worse. And today I just wanna spread my message that really don't, don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure to feel that you have to look a certain way and don't com con and don't compare yourself to those magazines because it's it's all pictures are taken and then it's done on a computer and then it's put out there for people to view and that's not right it's really not like Megan Trainer done a video and she pulled it off Sony because when she seen it, she looked at the video and she said that they basically photoshopped the crap out of her waist. Now, I'm not a fan of Megan Train or anything at all, but I'm not saying she's a, she's not a good singer or anything, but I don't blame her for wanting to get that video pulled. You know? Because she's a normal average size and she's curvy and they don't like that. They want her to look completely stick thin in the video. And if I was her and if I was famous and if I was like thing of Isis or anything or in a band and if I seen or heard that somebody photoshopped me in my video, I'd be doing the exact same thing. I'd be like, no. Pull that down and put the original up. What's wrong with the way my figure is? You know? Everybody like we all come in different shapes. We all come in different sizes. But love yourself for who you are. I know that it's so easy to just look into a mirror to judge something or to pick something out about yourself. But be happy with who you are and what you got. And I know it's not always easy, but I'm here if you ever 
want, if you ever want to talk, if you ever want support or anything, I'm always here for you guys. You can contact me on my Instagram. That's why I have my Instagram. I have an open page on my Instagram, basically for my bloopers, for my YouTube, and like for little sneak peeks on videos and everything and all. So, if you ever feel crap or anything at all, feel free to, to um to drop me a text on Instagram and everything and I'll put that in the description in the link down below when I'm doing this so but and then you hear and then you hear oh this person's gonna that diet and they've cut that out of their diet that they've they've cut that out of their daily diet and then people do this and then the people and then people because they've messed around so much with their metabolism from doing those yo yo diets they came with you know, it's all about healthy eating and exercise. And I find this works for me. I haven't noticed any unhealthy weight gain or loss by doing this. And I've been doing this for three years. Um, I basically eat healthy from Monday to Thursday. And then Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I have whatever I want. And, sorry guys, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> and I find that that works for me. And I wouldn't be going out, and I wouldn't be trying any of those fad diets. Or, buying a thing of baby carrots and eating that. A small bat thing of baby carrots and drinking water for the whole day and practically starving myself. Uh, no, thank you. I'd rather have my, like, I don't. I'd rather have my two healthy meals a day than do that. And I'd rather have my health, my healthy snacks or whatever in, in between. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise that you deprive yourself of anything, or I wouldn't advise that you make your portion sizes smaller. Like if your portion sizes are too big then maybe make them smaller but I don't, but what I mean by that is don't under eat either so so basically there's a few things as well so I know it's when you look in the mirror it's not so easy just like that to judge this time when you look in the mirror, I want you to look at yourself. Now look at your, look at yourself up and down. I want you to pick out one thing that you like about yourself. It could be the it could be one thing that you like about your looks, or it could be something from your personality. And you look at it, and you look into the mirror, and you say it. Or you could say, "I love myself." Or I'm a thoughtful, thoughtful person, and it will work. And eventually, over time, you you won't be like picking. You won't be picking out things that you don't like about yourself, and you won't be judging things that you don't like about yourself. Like I want to use this as an, an example. Marilyn Monroe, right? She was seen as one of the world's sexiest women, and she was seen as a sex icon. Okay, she wasn't completely bony skinny, she was an average sized woman, her stomach wasn't completely flat, and her chest wasn't completely perky, but she was beautiful, and she was one of the world's sexiest women, so what does that say, you know, it says that, no matter, no matter, how small you are, no matter how big you are, love yourself for you. And even if you feel that you can't love yourself, someone else will love you for you. I know how it feels to be self-conscious and everything and all, because I've dealt with my own issues with everything with my body is morphia and with eating habits and all. And I'm still kind of recovering with the eating 
I'm a lot, I'm better. Oh my god, I'm far miles better than what I was. Um, but I can't just make, wave a magic pixie wand and expect it to be gone overnight. These things take time. These kind of issues take time and everything and all. But I'm, I'm pretty much there. And, like, I don't feel as crap about myself anymore. And that's what I want for you guys. And everybody out there who, or anybody out there who, who is constantly judging themselves or is constantly comparing themselves to unrealistic things or unrealistic goals. Because see, the thing is, people can get obsessed with diet and everything and all. And then it doesn't matter how much weight they've lost. They'll never be happy. It will keep going and going and going until eventually you end up on a feeding tube in a hospital or worse. That's not what I want. And that's not what I want for any of you guys. I want you all to be happy. And I want you all to be healthy and live your life. You only get one life. Live it being happy. Don't live it being miserable. You know? And... Now there's times where I look, where sometimes I look in a mirror and oh, I don't like the way my tummy looks now. That's the thoughts that I get. And then there's another, and then my other, but my other part of the brain says to those thoughts, "Hey, jog on, go away." And then I don't, and then I don't look, I don't t judge myself. Then it's so hard. On it. And just don't don't be so hard on yourself. I know I'm saying that a lot in this video, but really don't. Love yourself for you. And live life to the fullest and everything. And do what you want to do. And if you have dreams and everything, not live your dreams. Live your dreams. And also as well, um, there could be things as well like, not everything is always about like, when people have problems with their confidence or anything, it's always not always about their looks or anything like that. It could be that they were picked on and they had a hard time and then they're afraid to ask anyone for help or anything. And because they're afraid that they're going to get a neg negative reaction. So they put up a wall to protect themselves as a defense mechanism. And that's living numb. And that's not good either. You know? Um, so my message is today <laughs> is to not live numb. And to not be so hard on yourself, to love yourself for you. And there's another thing as well. Get a sheet of paper. Write out all the things that hold that you feel hold you back. Or write down what you don't, you know, like what you see or and all that. Get it, right? And you can either throw it into a into a fire into a fire and uh, into a fireplace now be careful doing this you can throw it into a fireplace and burn it or you can rip it up or you can do do, do what i do do an irish jig on it <laughs> do an irish jig on it and then tell yourself to let go to let go of those thoughts let go of the, the feelings emotions and everything and all and oh my god you'll feel so much better there will be an absolute weight lifted off your chest. Right. So, well, my other message is today, don't be try, don't go, don't try fat diets and everything, I'll mess around with your metabolism and all, because you end up, you end up putting, they're quick fixes, but you can easily end up putting on weight from, doing them and then you'll be thinking to yourself oh my god why did I mess around with my metabolism um I wish I was what I wish I, I was the way what I was when I started on, on this so love yourself for you 
So if you like this video guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I really wanted to make this video today and I just wanted to really put out the message and everything and also I'm here if you ever need me and also give me a text on my Instagram or anything like that. So like I said, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys later.